Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I want to make a video on truck stops and my experience with the uh, truck stops being only being three months into this. So I don't know if I'd call it experience. I'm still a rookie. <clears throat> I probably don't know it fraction of what I need to know but what I can tell you so far and I started out without any really any kind of uh, advice frame or reference that I didn't know anyone uh, that drove truck especially over the road long hauls um, so I just started out I just started driving and there's, there are a couple guys on YouTube um, that I learned some things from, uh, but a lot of stuff you just pick up as you go along. So what I've learned in my three months long haul over the road about truck stops. So there are truck stops all across the country, obviously. Um, every interstate every major US route and even a lot of the state routes in the bigger states like Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas um, they have a lot of truck stops mostly private ones and they're smaller and then along the interstate system um, you basically have you still have some independent like privately owned truck stops but you basically have three major like corporate truck stops and those are Love's, uh, Pilot, Flying J and Speedway are all together affiliated with each other and then you have the TAs, Travel Centers of America and Petro that are also both affiliated with each other and so we'll start with Loves. Uh, when we first started out, we chose Loves um, to be our primary truck stop or our truck stop of preference. And we got their rewards car or their loyalty car, whatever you want to call it. And we always tried to stop at Loves truck stops. So, the pros for the Love's truck stops are they, they seem to be more frequent, or there seem to be more of them. Um, they seem to be newer facilities, cleaner. Showers tend to be larger than Pilot Flying J, TAs, and Petros. They're usually easy to get in and out of. Um, friendly service, almost always. There was one in uh, White House, Tennessee. The woman was a total bitch. But other than that, they're all pretty friendly. Um, the cons to Love's Truck Stops, they're small. <clears throat> so there are more of them but they're small, usually 60 to 90 spaces. Every once in a while you'll find one that's 120 spaces. Um, now they usually, most of them have seven to 10 showers, which is plenty for that amount of truck spaces. Never had to wait for a shower at a Love's. Um, the only problem with Love's is it's hard to find a place to park. So, if you're not in the Lowe's truck stop by 5 p.m., it's not likely that you're going to find a place to park. Now, a lot of drivers don't care if they find a place to park. They'll park anywhere. And they don't care if they got you blocked in 
where you can't get out. They don't care if uh, you can't get on the scale, if you need to weigh. They don't even care if you can get in the fuel island. And that's the bad thing about a Loves. Um, now you can pull in there at 2 or 3 in the morning and there will be some spaces open. But because these other idiots park wherever they want, they're hard to get into. So, we started out with Loves. Um, chose Loves because there were two of them close to our home. Um, one heading east, one heading west. Both within 30 miles, so, you know, if you were heading out, it was easy to stop, fill up, get some... You know, get a fountain drink. I like my fountain pop. And Shotgun likes water, but she likes it cold. So I always go in, grab a fountain pop, and get her a big cup of ice. And then head down the road, whichever direction we're going. Uh, the next nearest truck stop is a pilot. And it's about 60 miles um, away from where we live. So we went with Love's. Now we just recently changed to the pilot and flying days and for one very simple reason and to me one critical reason and that being um, parking so the loves are small truck stops the pilots and flying jays tend to be medium size to large so the one we stayed in last night had 160 parking spaces available and there were spaces open all night um, the other advantage to the pilot flying J is they have reserve parking so you can kind of set up uh, how far you can drive like Ohio to Texas is a that's a three day trip. So you can kind of gauge based off your pickup time if you get loaded in time. Um, I can drive this far, and there's a pilot within that distance or a flying J within that distance. I can reserve a parking space there, and know that that spot's there, and I'll be able to park there. That's nice. That's a uh, peace of mind. Because nothing's more frustrating than than you've got I don't know, forty five minutes left on your hours and you pull into a loves and you and you can't park. <clears throat> and then you know you've uh yeah, the rewards card, you've accumulated a free shower, which you really like to take, but you can't park. So you can't go in and get your free shower. Um, on our last trip, uh, we took four showers home in our pocket. All because we couldn't park in Loves. And that's what that's why we switched to the pilots and flying J's. Um, I, I said they tend to be larger than the Loves. Um, the pros are reserve parking and usually more parking available. The cons to the pilot J's, pilots and the flying J's. Um, their restaurants are like a Denny's. Some of them have a Denny's uh, or a McDonald's. Uh, very similar to Love's. Love's always, they have fast food in Love's. I forgot to say that. Mention that about Love's. They usually have a Subway, a McDonald's. Chester's Chicken and her uh, Arby's, Hardee's, some type of fast food. And uh, Pilots and Flying J's, some of the larger ones have like a buffet style uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner where you can get actually get some prepared food um, that's not been packaged and processed for a shelf life which is a little better for you and it tastes better. You can get that occasionally at the Flying J's and the Pilots. <clears throat> the only thing about the Pilot and Flying J's that I don't like is their facilities tend to be older, a little outdated. 
the bathrooms are small. You know, maybe three or four toilets and three urinals in the men's restroom, which is open to the truck driving side and the public side, so it's always busy. And they're just not as clean. Loves, they keep... Loves must... Uh, every time I go into the bathroom at Loves, there's someone in there cleaning. Um, pilots, flying J's. You can just tell they don't get cleaned as often. So that's the one con, but uh, the pro of that reserve parking outweighs them all. So when you fill up and you get that free shower from Pilot, you know you can go down the road another 500 miles to another Pilot and you got a place where you can park and take your shower. Unlike Loves, you try to do that with Loves, you can't find a place to park. You end up having to go down the road to a different truck stop or a rest area or God forbid, an on-ramp or off-ramp, which I've not had to park on an on-ramp or off-ramp yet. Um, I've always been able to find a spot somewhere. And then you have the TA. And we thought about going TA instead of Flying J, but the TAs are probably the largest the TAs and the Petros of those three major truck stops. Um, there was one, there's one in Joplin, Missouri at Petro that has 480 spaces. It's huge. There's another one in Kingdom City, Missouri that's it's huge. Always parking available. Um, the TAs have a restaurant in style, like in, in the store, like a family style. Um, I forget the name of it. And the Petros, all the Petros we've been to have an iron skillet, which is really good food. Really good food. Again, family style restaurant. Uh, it's not family owned, but it's, you know, you go in, you sit down, order off the menu, they cook your food, bring it to you. Which is nice if you you know if you've been on the road for ten days, you've not had a home cooked meal. Iron skill is pretty nice. Um, I've heard people complain about their fuel uh, from TA and Petro. I've used them a couple times, didn't have a problem, but others have. So I don't. I don't know. Could have been a, they could have been pulling off the bottom of the tank. I don't know. But that's one one complaint I've heard. Again, their facilities are older. Some are outdated. Uh, showers tend to be smaller, but their restrooms are usually larger, and they usually have two sets: one for the public side and one for the driver's side. Uh, truck truck driver side and the TAs tend to be fairly clean so if if I had to rank the truck stops by cleanliness loves is first the TAs Petro is second and pilot flying J's would be third um, the TAs and Petro's they also have reserve parking which is a nice feature now that does, you can use your points to reserve a, a parking space where you can pay cash. Um, it's been for me anywhere between 12 and $15 to pay cash uh, for the space. But that's a small price to pay to make sure you know you've got a place to park. Yeah, I can write it off. So we're gonna stick with Pilot and Flying J for a while. See how that goes. Um, we were in a Pilot not last night, the night before, 
it got pretty crazy. A smaller pile of trucks parked. Oh, there were guys on the CB they cussing each other out. And guys parked, you don't want to move because he's afraid his ELD will put him in a violation, hour of service violation. And, well, why'd you park that way? I mean, this guy, he was parked like angled in between parking rows here and parking rows here. And left just enough room for a truck to squeeze through on each side of them. It was, and the trucks that were, you know, he's like this, and there was trucks parked here, and they were trying to go this, they couldn't. And the same on the other side, they couldn't get, their mags they couldn't pull out without hitting someone. I've been mad too. Ridiculous. But uh, truck stop etiquette. Some of these guys. You know, I got nothing against people coming to our country trying to make a better life for themselves. But the majority of the people that are rude in the truck stop are foreigners. And most of them are Arabic, Indian, in descent. Um, pull up to a fuel island and sit there for 30 minutes. Not even get fuel. Just getting their break. Because they don't want to park. Um, I've seen guys pull in. There'll be 50 spaces open. Spaces they could just pull, pull through, pull into. Park along the curb. Make the other drivers go around and park in front of the scale. You have a guy sitting on the scale all day trying to get off the scale, but he can't. There are a lot of flies down here. But he can't because somebody's parked in front of him. They're not moving. They're usually in the store doing who knows. But yeah, if you're going to be over the road, be prepared. To be frustrated, finding one, finding a place to park, and two.